Welcome back boys and girls. This is part two of building a Reddit bot. Now guys, I've been having a, a long hard think on the best way to handle this project. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna give you a copy of a Reddit bot uh, that I used to use, okay? So it's an old version of a uh, Reddit bot that's now been updated, okay? I think it's a great way for you guys to learn um, a lot of features of Bass, okay? And what we're going to do, we're going to work on the project together, okay? And we're going to restore it to previous glory, okay, guys? So, um, as it stands, a lot of the features don't work or they need to be, some of the elements need to be changed, little fix, fixes here and there. So, we're going to do it together and work through the different settings, the different modules, and make it a shiny running Reddit bot, okay, guys? So what the bot comprises of is um, a settings tab, which runs the threads, the amount of actions to take, um, you can put in your capture key and your proxies, and your list of fingerprints, so we're going to look into that. There's a post content module, which can also post content to Reddit accounts, okay, which will in turn increase Karma, so it's a kind of mini uh, Karma farming module, okay, um, so we're going to get into that. Um, the next module checks if the accounts are alive, so the bot um, visits each, each account and we can um, check the page for certain details to see if an account is alive. The next module is to create a standard account. Now, what I mean by a standard account is the bot will make an account using an email address, like a Yahoo, a Google, or a Hotmail. So you are going to have to have, say, two or three different accounts at standby. Um, so you can use them for the bot creation pro, um, program. Um, if you don't have them, let me know and I'll see if I can hook you up. Okay, the next module is create accounts with disposable emails. Okay, so disposable email, there's many, many services online that allow you to kind of have an email address for a few hours and then they're destroyed. So we're going to make use of them and we're going to verify accounts using these disposable emails. Okay, so it's a great way to make accounts um, because you normally have to pay for um, to create standard accounts. So you might buy a batch of a hundred or even a thousand Google or Hotmail or Yahoo accounts. So it's a great way to cut costs and still make accounts. Uh, these aren't as strong um, as the standard accounts. Okay, they're more likely to get banned. Um, however, it, it's a great way to get started with Reddit. And the third method is what we call churn and burn accounts. These accounts are not going to be verified at all. These are kind of good if you want to do mass PMs or mass contacting people, okay? And you don't really care if they live more than a couple of days. Some of them will make it, <coughs> excuse me, some of them will make it through and live a long time and prosper, but the majority of them at some time will get destroyed, depending on the how good your proxies are, which we're going to get into in another video. The churn and burn poster is for the churn and burn accounts if you want to do mass posting, okay? And we're going to talk about that in, in a future video too, about how, how that works. Uh, the next section is an upvote and comment um, bot module, which allows us to upvote posts that we post onto Reddit, and then also to comment on them posts. So we can make a post look really popular. Uh, and then um, we finally have a comment upvoter, so instead of upvoting a particular um, Reddit post, we can upvote the comment. Okay, this is really powerful and lots of people are not using this okay, in their bots um, and it's a bit of a waste because um, it's a really powerful way to get huge amounts of traffic to your site, which I'm going to demonstrate as we go. Okay guys, so we're going to work on all these modules um, in, these, in this series and what we're going to do is kind of like see it as a broken car. <laughs> Um, at the moment, in its um, present state, the bot doesn't run correctly. Uh, some of the modules do and some don't. Okay, so what we're going to do, we can go through each module, go through what um, it does and what components um, are there, and then we're going to tweak them. And as I said, we're going to bring the uh, bot to its former glory, and then you can use it um, to show your mum, your girlfriend, your boyfriend how great a bot creator you are. Okay guys, so there's going to be a link in the, the description so you can download this template 
um, and we can start working on the bot in the next video. I just want to say too guys, um, there's a more advanced version of this bot in the course that we go over and we also go over and build out other projects. So make sure you check out the course, it's on thebotempire.com, the link will be in the description. Um, yeah, there's some really great and fun um, projects that we go over in that course. So make sure you check that out as well. And also check out the site for free videos, um, free templates and other great stuff. And also if you need a custom bot designed, either open source or um, built and compiled, then we also are able to do that for you. So check out the, the website um, and look at all the features on there. Okay guys, I'll catch you in the next video.